Good Sunday morning, everybody. Please don't mind the bumpy roads in Pennsylvania. But, uh, so I'm gonna get started on this project today. It's a Sunday evening, uh, not much going on. I got plenty of work to do in the shop, but we're gonna save that for the week. Uh, so yeah, I've been watching this project for a while now. My mother actually got me the map that I wanted for Christmas. Thank you, mom. Uh, but yeah, so for those who don't know what it is, it's pretty much just the map. I'm going to glue it to some cork board and kind of build a frame for it or whatever so that we could hang up in my shop. So every time I ship an order out, I'm going to take a little bobby pin or whatever and stick it in the map. So that way over the years, I can track all the different places I ship my orders out to. So I think it'd be a fun, cool little project to do on a Sunday. And yeah, so we are headed to Lowe's now. And uh, like I said, the materials I will put in the description in case anybody else will be interested in making this. So I'll come back to you when we are at Lowe's. So far we spent $19. We've got to go up to Staples because they did not have Mod Podge or the tax that I needed. So let's go in there, get the rest of the stuff, and then head back to the shop. Staples did not have the Mod Podge either. So uh, let's go to Joanne Fabrics. All right, so after going to three stores, we finally have everything that we need. Uh, we spent $19 at Lowe's. I think the Mod Podge was like seven, eight dollars. So we're looking at like $26, $27 right now. $27, I believe. So, uh, <clears throat> you didn't have to buy a big of a piece of an underlayment. If your map's not as big, I bought an entire four by eight sheet. It probably would even cost less if your map wasn't as big. But mine's like four foot by like three, or something like that. But anyways, we're finally going back to the shop and we're gonna finally start putting this thing together. I'll have all the stuff laid out so you can see all the stuff that I bought. Plus I try to include it all in the video as well. So next stop, back to the shop. So we have the map, we have the Mod Podge, little sponge thing to spread the Mod Podge on the back. We have the hangers, mat pins, and our board we're going to use. And we're going to glue this on. So first things first, this map is 50 by 32, so we're going to cut out a piece that is 50 by 32. This is what we were left with. Oh, I got a couple crinkles. You can see like right there. Other than that, they're pretty smooth. No big bubbles or anything. <clears throat> I'm no professional at using that Mod Podge or anything, but it says let it dry for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. And then uh, we're gonna stick these on the back. And then we're gonna get this bad boy hung up. If you want to, you can grab trim and frame this in but i'm not worried about that for now i went ahead and installed these <clears throat> the board was a little too thin for nails to go through so i used leather because it is a leather shop <laughs> to make it a little bit thicker go ahead and set them in they're not going anywhere did that on each corner so the only place in my shop that i have room for this thing is right here so I go ahead measure this out we're gonna hang this up. So here we have the finished product. I mean, it's pretty big. So like I said, it's the only place I can fit my shop. But yeah, that's just pretty much it. You can see I already got some pins put in from the orders that I just shipped out this week. A PA, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, this is this is it. Cool little project I've been wanting to do for a while now, but finally got to actually uh, do it. So like I said, if anyone's want to do this, I go ahead and throw all the uh, stuff that I use down in the description. So be sure to like, subscribe for future videos. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoy.